Hi, this is Jessica from Keep Growing Detroit and happy spring. Today, March 19th is our first day, official first day of spring. And we're here in our seed closet preparing our seeds, organizing our seeds to get ready to plant them outdoors. So today we have snap peas and they're bigger than our lettuce seeds, if you can see those. Um, and but each seed will create its own plant so seeds come in all different shapes and sizes and today we'll be reading about seeds and a seed is a promise this is book is written by claire merrill and the pictures are by susan swan you know a lot about seeds when you eat an orange you see little white seeds inside You've seen the seeds of other fruits too, apples, pears, melons, and grapes. Have you eaten peas or lima beans for dinner? Peas and lima beans are seeds. They are the seeds of vegetables. Have you ever bought flower seeds, packets in the store, or fed grass seed to a pet bird? Have you ever worn maple tree seeds on your nose or played tea party with the seeds of an oak tree? Do you know where all these seeds come from? All seeds come from plants. And in every seed, there is a promise. The promise that a new plant will grow. If you know what kind of plant a seed comes from, you know what it will grow into. A bean seed will grow into a bean plant. An orange seed will grow into an orange tree, but an orange seed will never grow into a lemon tree. How are seeds made? Most seeds begin inside flowers. Look at the center part of the flower. This is called the pistil. At the bottom of the pistil, there are tiny egg cells. Many look at the parts. Now, now look at the parts around the pistil. These are the stammers. These are the stamens. They make a yellow powder called pollen. A grain of pollen must reach an egg cell to make a seed. Some flowers use their own pollen to make seeds, but most flowers use the pollen of other flowers. Bees and other insects carry pollen from flower to flower. Wind blows pollen through the air. A grain of pollen lands on the pistil of a flower. The pollen grain grows a long tube down into the pistil and joins an egg cell. A seed begins. Soon the flower starts to die. The petals dry and fall. The flower dies, but inside the pistil, new seeds are growing. As the seeds grow, a pod or a fruit grows around them. The fruit protects the seeds. The fruit gets bigger and bigger. It gets riper and riper. The fruit breaks open. The seeds are ready to start new plants. Some seeds fall to the ground right next to the plant that made them. Other seeds travel. The seeds of a violet and pansies shoot into the air. Milkweed and dandelion seeds ride silken strands into the wind. Some seeds have sturdy wings that let them glide on the wind or float on the water. Some seeds travel with their help or even with your dogs. 
Their sharp little burrs hook onto clothing or fur. Not all of these seeds will grow into plants. Many things may go wrong. A seed may not land on good earth. It may land on a rock or in your house. A hungry bird or squirrel may eat it, but almost every seed starts out with a chance to grow. You can find out why. Soak a lima bean in water overnight. In the morning, let your mother or father help you cut the seed in half. Inside, you will see a tiny baby plant. There is a tiny baby plant curled up tight in every seed. This tiny plant can grow into a big plant. And as long as the tiny plant stays alive, there is a chance that the seed can keep its promise, even after a very long time. Here's a true story, almost some seeds that grew after a very, very long time. One day in the cold North country of Canada, a miner was digging in the frozen earth. Deep down, he found some old animal burrows. Inside the burrows were some animal bones. Next to the bones were tiny seeds. Miner took the bones and seeds. He showed them to some scientists. The scientists found out that the bones were the bones of little animals called lemmings. The bones were very, very old. Thousands and thousands of years ago, in prehistoric times, the lemmings must have stored the seeds for food. Everyone wondered could such old seeds still grow? Had the earth acted like the freezer in your refrigerator? Had it kept the seeds from spoiling? The scientists put the seeds on special wet paper and waited. Two days later, this is what they saw. Some of the seeds had kept their promise. They had sprouted after thousands and thousands of years. In time, the seeds grew into healthy plants. The plants grew flowers. The flowers made new seeds, each with a promise of its own. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you on the farm.